Halo Infinite flighting program starting soon as well as campaign logic puzzles along with the Brute Chopper seem to be confirmed in Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we recently came across some news about Halo Infinite, some really interesting stuff that I know you guys are going to be very curious about. Some of this information is a deeper dive into the recent April development update that we had, as well as some new information that just recently came out from a 343 devs LinkedIn profile. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel, guys. So let's get right into the content here. So the first thing I want to go over with you guys is the Brute Chopper looking to come back in Halo Infinite. We haven't had this chopper since Halo 3, and it's one of the most badass vehicles that's ever been created within the Halo franchise. And it looks to be coming back, but in a little bit of a different fashion, obviously, since we have the Banish coming back with Halo Infinite, that things will just probably have a little bit of a different aesthetic and maybe a little bit different of a functionality. But it looks like we have the Chopper Takedown. This is a Mega Constructs leak that came out recently, guys, just showcasing new things about this game, which obviously not every toy is going to be in the game itself but this does look highly likely as in the recent development update we had an image where you zoomed in on it it just kind of looks like first of all it just kind of looks like a typical kind of landscape kind of thing i did point this out previously but after extra sleuthing from the internet uh, it came to be almost pretty much a guaranteed conclusion that that little red dot at the bottom part of the screen looks to be very similar in design to this chopper takedown from mega constructs meaning that the brute chopper looks to be coming back in halo infinite now i know some of you in the comment section will be saying but we had the brute chopper in halo wars 2 which is very true it was definitely there but it had a complete different design to it and honestly this one for Halo Infinite looks way more badass way more spiky and much more menacing than the previous one that we had for Halo Wars 2 and much more in line with the classic design that we had from Halo 3 but with a bit more of a modern take that's a little bit more menacing from the Banish and stuff like that I'm very excited about this the Brute Chopper is one of the most fun vehicles to play around with in the sandbox of Halo because you can just go full speed and ram into a Warhawk and that Warhawk is gonna die so it's very interesting uh, vehicle mechanics that we've actually been kind of missing out with that brute force play that you have with the brute chopper and so that's gonna be a very great addition along for Halo Infinite some brand new information has been coming out about the campaign for Halo Infinite, and that's involving logic puzzles, to quote that properly. A LinkedIn profile from a 343 developer just kind of talks about what they've done for 343 and Halo Infinite in general. And a very interesting little part here saying they build gameplay moments such as combat encounters, narrative events. I'm sure I'm talking about the narrative moments like they mentioned about the cutscenes there, but a very interesting thing, logic puzzles is written in there. We've never had any kind of form of really puzzles in Halo's franchise as a whole. So this is going to be very interesting. Maybe they borrowed a page from the Destiny playbook in a way with some of the raid mechanics that they have brought that over to Halo Infinite in some way. So could there be something a little bit more to these events and a little bit more to these logic puzzles that we can imagine? Because previously with Halo games, the way you solve your problems is by shooting them in the face pretty much. And that's about it. Uh, but now it seems like we might have to do a little bit of thinking when it comes to playing most likely the campaign. Unless they find some ways to kind of integrate that with multiplayer in some kind of way, maybe some kind of logic puzzle kind of multiplayer event kind of thing or something but I think this probably would be much more of a campaign thing as those kind of puzzles definitely are fit more for a narrative kind of experience when it comes to playing these kind of things which are super fun you know I played a bunch of destiny raids and the fun thing is not only just like the shooting of the mechanics of those raids but also just like the logic puzzle part of some things where like maybe you have to jump on some certain platforms a specific way or press some buttons in a certain way Way as well to kind of unlock things I mean I remember that it was also a really fun mechanic also in other games that we've seen previously like one that comes to my mind would be Skyrim having something like that where you have to probably line up certain kind of symbols together that they get kind of hints at but you have to kind of figure your way through obviously great content for some YouTube tutorials that's for sure so I mean if I come across something like that that I think could be very useful I guarantee I'll be making tutorials on this channel for Halo Infinite though I do hope that they're more than just like simple little puzzles and they maybe kind of 
lean towards something more as well. There's certainly more you can do with just puzzles rather than just being like a little click here, click there kind of obstacle. If you want to try to make it really interesting, which I really hope they do, is maybe have these external extra missions off the golden path as they always say, like some of these side missions might require to have you do logic puzzle, but maybe each piece of the puzzle leads to something bigger, if you know what I mean, leads up to something more, which I think would be super interesting. And the last bit of information I wanna leave off with you guys is about the flighting program for Halo Infinite. It's been talked about a bunch about when this will happen. Originally from the December update, they talked about flighting happening later this year. Well, I would assume later this year being the second half of the year sometime after June, which most likely we'll see some awesome gameplay stuff in E3 this year, which is happening on the 12th of June. And there, I think it's gonna be like a huge, basically like a coming out party of Halo Infinite showcasing all the awesome stuff you can do with the game. No longer teasing it, really. They're gonna be showcasing multiplayer campaign, I'm sure, as well as some extra features that they're looking to do. Probably some Halo Waypoint integration, which they mentioned previously, which we'll talk about in a different video. But in this video, I wanna stick strictly to the flighting program. As we do know, 343 has been practicing out their flighting programs with MCC and has been doing a pretty good job of testing that stuff out. Now that the second half of the year is kind of creeping up on us, June is right around the corner, guys. So we can probably start seeing the flighting happening within the next few months, if not right after E3, possibly. In the recent blog update in April, they said this specific, we've been conducting external flights and play testing with a very small external group representing a variety of backgrounds. Getting to see folks outside the company experience the game for the first time is a thrill. The feedback we've been getting has been heartening in many ways and impactful in others. Seeing a turnaround in opinion based on changes is truly gratifying. Rest assured, now that we've gotten our feet wet over the last couple months, we're progressing towards expanding playtesting opportunities as soon as we can. So keep those Halo Insider profiles up to date. So it's good to know that they've been doing external playtesting, not just strictly internal testing now with Halo Infinite, which is great testing out with a bunch of variety of people, which is also fantastic. You need a good variety of opinions when it comes to Halo because everyone certainly has their opinion on how they like their Halo games. But from this poster here, it sounds like they're getting really prepared for a public fighting process. So maybe with the event of E3 coming in, in June, we could get some kind of announcement of when we might see flighting happening, which would be amazing, which is gonna be possibly even next month. Can you imagine about the hype that would be riding off of E3 if they go, Flighting process is going on for Halo Infinite and it's starting right after this event. You imagine how many people are gonna be going to sign up for the Halo Insider program? How many people are gonna be jumping on trying to play as soon as possible? I mean, that's really riding the hype wave, that's for sure. Now, do I expect that to happen? Not really, and nor do I really want that to happen as I do feel like if you try to make your announcement for early flight testing at E3, you'll get a bunch of people not really caring too much about Halo, trying to sign up and just wanting to play it early so they can brag to their friends rather than actually give constructive criticism about the game to make sure that it builds up properly. But we haven't had any form of indication of flights within these development updates until now. So this makes me think that the reason why they're talking about this within this development update is that they're probably planning the flight soon after E3 of this year. So that's why you wanna keep your stuff up to date because if you got any new PC builds or a new Xbox, or anything like that that you're going to be playing Halo Infinite on, you want to make sure that your profile is up to date. And I guarantee you, as soon as we know more information about the flighting process for Halo Infinite, I guarantee you I'll put a video up as soon as possible to let you guys know. So if you guys have been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, or missed any content from me recently, as we do upload daily, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.